Okay guys, we're about to install the cam. I've already got it cleaned up with mineral spirits, got all the assembly lube that's from the factory on it so it doesn't rust. Got it cleaned off, we'll put our own assembly lube on it as we insert it into the block. So we just covered the first little bit of the cam. We'll just make sure we get all that assembly lube all over the cam before we insert it into the block. So that way, whenever we start up, it's not dry metal on metal. And just take your time. You don't want to ding up any of the journals of the cam or any of the cam bearings. Just nice and slow. Once we get it there, we can add a little more assembly loop. Can't ever have too much. And we'll just work it around all the journals of the cam, all the lobes. Spin it, add a little more. I'm using just some Lucas assembly lube that's what i've used on all my ls's i like it in a pinch you can use some lucas oil stabilizer anything's better than nothing guys so we'll just continue feeding that cam remember nice and slow guys not a race And then what helps when you get towards the end is you can get you a water pump bolt. Feed it into the end of the cam or you can get a screwdriver. Anything that you can get just a little leverage on that cam so you can lift up the back of it so you can slide it in. That's all it takes to put a cam in an LS. Just take your time, use lots of assembly lube. Now you can pull out your, your dowel rods because we're not worried about our lifters falling anymore. Then we can go back on with our cam plate. We can add our optional timing chain damper and then we can start putting the timing set back on. So, If you like the video guys, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you on the next one.